Welcome again. So let us start building our Laravel 5.5 CRUD application. As you can see, I have a fresh Laravel 5.5 installed in my computer. This is a fresh installation. It has nothing. I will just go and create a database and a little small configuration for now. Here is my PHP my admin. I will go there and uh, make a database by the name of CRUD. Anything you can name it. Now I'll come here and write the database name as crap and the username by default it is root and we don't have a password I will save the file and I'll go to here and I, I can now I can migrate my database into my PHP my admin as you can see I come here open the terminal here or as, as you can see we are using PowerShell so I will use PHP artisan migrate to migrate the database into the our php my admin here but now it will give us an error because this is a fresh level 5.5 installation uh, it will give us an error because my SQL version is a little low that's why it will give me an error of unspecified key was too long the specified key was too long now the way you fix it is it is very easy you come here going to the app service provider app service provider here in the boot you just write a class of schema then default string length then put it as 191 the way it works is that when you create the migration file as you can see here is our migration file we have an email here which does not have any length of course you can put a length here for any uh, for all of them if we put 120 let's say 120 it will put th that on the database since we are not uh, writing that length here we can just put it in our boot function by default all of the string will the, the length of the string will be default to 191 and uh, i should import it in the header as well the way i import it is that you can go to use illuminate slash support slash now if you if you don't remember where it, where this is of course it is in face art i can go to face art now if you don't remember it just right click here and uh, the way it works is that go to right click here go to definition now it will, it will show you the full url to that page as you can see it is illuminate face art here then uh, i can just come here and copy for now i will copy the face art and then one more slash to reference the name of the file which is schema here now you are done save the file once you save the file it should not give us any error uh, anymore i will rerun the migration if i rerun the migration it will give give us again the error because we already have some of the table in our database if i refresh the database as you can see uh, here i have migration table user table the only tables which it did not create is uh, the table which give us the error here as you can see the email was not created and one of the table was not created that's why i will use the another command of uh, fresh php artisan migrate fresh it will delete everything every table in my database and re remigrate all of them as you can see this time it successfully migrated if i refresh it now i have another table uh, for the password reset so now we have it and let's open our project in the browser i will just go here and cd into our crud it is in my desktop i will run a server for this php artisan serve now we have access to our project at this url as you can see it is a fresh layer of all five phone let's uh, let's uh, make the authentication as well for this one just come here and say let's php artisan make art now our authentication is also ready as you can see now we have our login page and our registration page now i can uh, go and register my name here let's say we have an admin the admin is admin at me or oh, yeah. something else 
and the first word is PASS123 PASS123 let's log into our application here is the home page of this one as we promised we will use the admin LTE in this project because we we just want to show you how you can uh, integrate this admin LTE in your project and how you can make uh, the whole more uh, system with this uh, with this uh, admin template as you as you know this is a open source and free admin dashboard which you can use uh, for uh, commercial purposes as well I can go to doc here I will not download it uh, I will use npm just to install it and how, how you uh, this way it is easy to use uh, Laravel mix and mix all your style and all your CSS in one file I'll copy it come here here is my application and I will just paste it here now it will install admin LT and save it as dependency as you know uh, in my project there is uh, no n nothing like uh, the node module folder because I have not run the PHP the npm install run because uh, as you can see in my package I have a lot of packages here like Axios, Bootstrap, like ENV, jQuery uh, all of them are here but I should uh, run the npm install to download all of this dependency now we have a node module it is just uh, adding the uh, the admin LTE file I should rerun the uh, the command and install all of this dependency as well of course we are not using going to use the Axios, we are not going to use Lodash or Vue.js but still if we have them maybe in the future we, we will use them so I will come here in terminal I will just run the npm install it is going to install all of this dependency for us these are all just the JavaScript de dependencies so it will take a, f a while and I will pause the video uh, until it is installed so now as you can see all the dependencies are, are installed and I can run the command of npm run dev dev for development and as you can see it will not uh, compress the files but it will compile all of the, our dependency in one file if you don't know what these commands do just simply go to here and as you can see we have a script dev will run the the this command npm run development and development is this command this commands will go through this all of these commands which which run and compile your files into single file which will be in our your public your css here app.css and javascript.css these are related to laravel mix if you wanna search more about this there is a webpack file as you can see here the way it works is that those commands will come and search for this file app the that the JS here and app that CSS uh, in this directory in CSS asset and it will compile those file in these directories it will use Laravel mix you can search about Laravel mix if you don't know about it so I will not go deep onto that part so um, as you can see now I come here and run the command it will go and compile our file into single file which we can later use as you know if we uh, are using HTTP2 that's okay uh, but uh, still as uh, uh, if you want to have a, a speed of, uh, if you want to increase the speed of your website you must you must not use a lot of HTTP requests in your uh, in your uh, project for example if I come to layout the way we do is that we, we just uh, we should add only one CSS file and one JavaScript file here that way we we, uh, we decrease the amount of uh, HTTP requests we only send two HTTP requests that way our application will be faster than any other application so as you can see it just compiled all our file to where it was now what I will do is that I will use add manualty instead of this dashboard you know I am login I am in the home page instead of this dashboard I want to see the dashboard of admin LT. if I go to live preview I want to have a, a dashboard like this so I will use the starter page for this one if you go to example here is some uh, blank page like a place peace page if I come here all of them are here but I have downloaded this uh, in my computer and uh, the latest version of this is I think 
this is uh, if I come to here see the version is here version 2 is I'm using version 2.4 I think something like that the way you add this is uh, very simple just go to here I will create a new file called master.blade.php I'll use the admin LT file here I have in my download page come here and here is the admin LT there is a page called starter if I open this in browser as you can see it has lets me know I can use this one so I can view the source control a copy all the files and paste it here for now it has a lot of extra files that I am not going to use them for example these are all extra here I'll delete all of that and these are all the comments I'll delete them as well maybe I will not use the font uh, for now and here is the title as well as some comments the same thing and the footer of the page we need just a script tag here we are using acid function it will go to the public folder here and inside the js we have app.js it will reference this file and the next file is in our header link it will go to css and app.css i'll save the file and if i come here and refresh nothing will change because uh, i have not uh, uh, i'm using the the old app.blade.php in my home as you can see in ho my home it is extending the not the master page the app page can go, go and change it to master save it come here and reload the page now we are using admin as you can see it is not looking too fine because we have not added the css and the uh, all the javascript files the way we do it we just go to our asset sas app the css in here i'll just uh, mm, come here and reference the page for the for our is admin lt css the way you do is simply like bootstrap you will do that where is this referencing it is referencing to node module folder and paste this code this is going to reference to our admin lt as you know here is the admin lt in our node module folder it will just reference it like this one as you know we have the bootstrap sas here we have admin LT here it will go to admin LT going to the disk CSS and it will reference the admin LT that CSS and for the skin one uh, we will add all the skin the skin is the color which they use here as you can see we they are using blue we can change it to any color we want in the future so if I come and save my file before I save the file as you know I have run a new command here just to uh, show you that here I run uh, npm in, uh, npm run watch the way watch work is that it will see if any changes happen to the file it will recompile that and without without we uh, uh, it will recompile that automatically as you can see it is giving us an error for now because we have not saved our file save the file and come here and when you save the file it is going to compile again it is compiling now this time it successfully compile our file this time if i come and refresh our page it should show us the style of admin lte here yeah it is looking good for now but the javascript file we have not add because these are not working for now uh, some of them are working but most of them are not working like this level menu are not working the way you add the javascript file is very simple just go to resource going to js here open the bootstrap uh, you can put it anywhere i will just add here to require admin lte semicolon save it once you save the file it will compile successfully again this time if I refresh the page 
now most of these links should work yeah this one is working the menu is working and all of them are just work, working just fine as you can see the images are broken in the next video we will start customizing it for our own project and we will uh, uh, continue our video thank you for watching